Hey you guys, it's me Gemstone at tarifahealing.com. Hope you guys are doing really well. This is your monthly reading and it's for June and it's for Libra. Basically I'm going to be using the playing cards and then I'm going to be going into uh, your more specific areas of your life using the happy tarot. And so what I see in terms of your playing cards, your first one is the jack of hearts and the six of hearts and the three of clubs and the four of diamonds so what i see in terms of your cards is that basically i think that you um you love is going to play a big role in june i see you really connecting deeply with people that are around you um your family members friends even maybe connecting with people um, that you haven't heard of in quite some time. I kind of see you really establishing kind of closer connections and bonds with other people that are around you. And I think that that could be a really good thing for you. I also see that when it comes to your work situations, I think that some of you guys may be really longing to do something specific in terms of your work. But... Um, like I think that there is some kind of new profession that you even might be really into or there's something that you're really enjoying in terms of work or you could be enjoying if you were to go into that field. But it's almost like I don't think this is the month where you're actually going to move or change jobs or anything like that. But I think that this is the month where you're going to be contemplating about uh, moving jobs and about you know where you're going to end up what is the next stage for you i almost see that you are kind of looking out and thinking okay what is the the next step so but then at the same time i kind of see that even though you're thinking about what the next step is you really are not prepared right now to do the shift you're not prepared to actually uh, change jobs right now it's almost like you're saying okay I want to hold on to this job to a certain time and then I'm going to move on to something else but in the meantime while I'm holding on to this one job I'm thinking about maybe w w other places I could work or maybe I could go elsewhere and um, do something that is that resonates more deeply with me um, and so I kind of feel like maybe there is a sense of uh, there's something that you want to feel emotionally when it comes to the work that you do and I think that that is kind of why you're making plans to maybe leave where you are and move on to somewhere else sorry about the lighting situation but it's pretty dark today and it's still pretty early but um yeah, so that's what I see in terms of your playing cards. So good things in terms of love, in terms of family. Uh, family connections can be working out really well. And I think that, um, and I think a lot of you guys may also be reminiscing about a lover from the past as well. So uh, <laughs> it's all very interesting. Okay. I'm shuffling up the happy tarot and we're going to see what comes up in your finances and your work for June Libra. So your first card is, is this? oh justice, this is justice card, justice. So some choices and decisions, so that kind of goes hand in hand with your playing cards, thinking about things, deliberating what you should do next and exactly, <laughs> it's telling the exact same story. <laughs> As your playing card because this is the eight of cups so it's showing contemplating leaving a situation or moving on to something new moving on to your next venture as well so and then this card is i believe um it's like it's kind of difficult with this deck to distinguish with the court card especially because i haven't used this deck in a bit let me just check quickly because i want to make sure i'm giving the court cards the right names um because this is a cup card but then it's got a little crown so let me just check which one has the little crown i don't know if that's the i think it's the queen but let me just double check yeah the queen yeah so this is the queen of cups 
And that mirrors what the message says as well. Because basically what it's saying is, is that you are making big the big decisions. And I think universally, like on a soul level, you just know it's time for you to change your environment. It's time for you to change your surroundings. You are really like taking um, account of everything that is going on around you at this time. And I just feel that because this is a card, justice card, um, connects with your energy of being a Libra. I think that you want to move into a career that more resonates with you as a person. So for some of you guys, this might be an artistic career. You might decide to even go into beauty and stuff like that. You may even decide to go into law or, um, go into, um, what else? Uh, there was something else that came to mind. Yeah, you could go into like any kind of like I kind of can see a lot of those kind of professions that maybe a Libra would kind of be into. And those are kind of some of them. Um, so I think that uh, you're, but, but what the reason behind this is because you're just looking for something that really fulfills you. And I think that where you are right now, you may have felt like you have received the maximum that you can really receive from this place. Like there's nothing more that can really be offered to you or there's nothing more that can really be done. Like you've reached um, the point where you've done the maximum. And then when I see the Queen of, of um, Cups, the Queen of Cups is about following your heart, following what you feel, you know. And so um, you, you never know, you could be inspired by a water sign to follow your heart as well. So a water sign could be a Pisces, Scorpio or a, um, what's the other one, Cancer. Um, but I kind of see this card as not actually representing a water sign. I see it more representing you because these two energies together kind of are in sync. So it's kind of telling you that your emotions and your intuition is really guiding you towards something. And I think that where it's guiding you, you're kind of becoming curious about and you're thinking, you know, you know, maybe I should consider this. Maybe I should think about you know, what I'm feeling and, and going with that feeling. And so I think that that's why this month you're making the plans to kind of change your work setting um, later on down the line in the future. So that's an interesting reading. And so let's move on to your love life and see what's going on there and see if these cards maybe mirror your playing cards. Um... Okay, so your love life, Libra, for June. Let's see. Do, 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 do. You have the oh, Ace of Cups. Yeah, that's what I was telling you. <laughs> you are really connecting with other people. And you can see that massive rainbow. It's just so much fun in these cards. You're having a good time. You're making love. <laughs> or even if you're not making love, you're really just connecting deeply on an emotional level with people and just connecting. And so that could be having, you know, really nice dates with somebody else, going out, having a good time. It can also represent a child or celebration um, with the Ace of Cups as well. And oh, there's a huge celebration going on here because you even have the Three of Cups. So there are happy joyous occasions taking place so this could even be like even a, a party like a christening of a child something like that too but i kind of see that there is celebration so i don't know if some of you guys might be celebrating your anniversary maybe even getting married around this time but your your, your love connections are really just they're really like on point and i, I think that you're really going to be socializing a lot and this could also be a, a great connection with friends as well, going out with friends that maybe you haven't been out with for quite some time. So, um, but I see you having a lot of fun in June with people. So that's a really good sign. And then you have another, I was about to say another cups card because she was holding a cup. But this one is, what are you? Oh my gosh, I have to get reacquainted to these cards. This one, it has a wand at the bottom but then it has a cup at the top so are you a page i think this is a page uh, with me I, I wish on the bottom symbols of the court cards they made it like more obvious which ones they are obviously because i have so many decks at this point like Little things like this, I don't remember. Oh, yeah, it actually is a page. Yes, it is a page. So it is a page of, of cups. So 
you're having all water shine or water cards for your um love and relationship so that's a really good sign because it means that you're going to be having so much fun having such a good time and just being in love with love and just really being in your feelings and being very sensitive to the needs of others and sympathetic towards others and so i kind of really see a lot of people being drawn to you which I do believe like people are kind of drawn to Libras too. But I think that this is a month where people are really like, even like I feel like you can even have like a healing presence for other people that are around you as well. So even it could be a case that people just want to, people may also be coming to you for comfort too. And I think that you're really going to be receptive to people's needs. And, you know, if people do need help, like people that are around you, you will be there for them. But I kind of can see that this is a really good time for you to just be having a really nice time when it comes to love and relationships, particularly if you are in a relationship. But I feel like even if you're not, it doesn't mean that you can't have a good time also i think that's just a general message for all libras but i am gonna do one like if you are like specifically like single because i feel like these cards are really speaking to somebody that is in a relationship as well like it can be directly saying you know if you're in a relationship you could be celebrating like a, i mentioned an anniversary some party surrounding a relationship as well if you're single i think that this could also be a really great time for you to connect with friends and maybe even meet somebody as well but let's just do some other cards because i usually pull some additional cards for those of you that are single and so oh, come on <laughs> you have the two of cups this is crazy i've never seen so many cups show up in a reading for love that is mad like Libra if you're not in love I don't know what's going on because the, your cards are saying you should be <laughs> basically even if you're single you should be because the two of cups is a card of relationships like this is like it's not the lovers but it's like the next best thing to the lovers like the, this is a, a minor arcana card but you just even in this picture you can see that there is this connection with other people that are around you so i definitely think that if you're a single you're gonna meet somebody this month like for sure i really feel like you are i mean i don't know if you're gonna want to take this person on oh my gosh you are gonna want to take this person on because then you have the nine of cups this is just ridiculous <laughs> this reading the nine of cups so you're gonna want to take this person on because this person is like gonna be your dream person like this is your dream person like this isn't just any old body this ain't you walking down the street and some guy or some girl you don't fancy is trying to talk to you or trying to get your attention this is like when you meet the person that you wanted to be with like and you see a future with so i'm telling you and then this one is the Knight of Swords. So that's interesting. So you have like one Swords card showing up when it comes to relationships. And I feel like for some of you guys, this is your Knight in Shining Armor. Like that's what I see it as. I know usually, usually the, the um, Knight of Cups is more like a Knight in Shining Armor. But I feel for you that this person is. Because the cards that came up previously is really speaking of a relationship. And so I think that this person could be this individual. And more than likely, because it's like saying that this is a, well, this is a swords card. This person could be an air sign like yourself. So this could be like another Libra or Aquarius or a um, Gemini that you could be really taking a liking to. But basically, even if they're, or like sometimes you can get people that are other signs and they do come off like, like air signs even if they may have their sign in like another sign so because you know it all depends on the person's birth chart and stuff like that so they may come off like an air sign even if they are a different sign but what i see here is that you are really going to be in love or having really strong emotions and feelings for somebody that is coming into your life right now and i feel like for you this person is almost going to feel like a savior I know that sounds like so like <laughs> that dramatic, but you know, I feel like they are like, I feel like if you've been proper waiting for somebody, 
this person is coming in and it's happening like and everything i feel like is going to fall into place when you meet this person like it's going to feel like the right time and the right place and i feel like they're going to walk into your life at, like at the right time when you needed them so you have really like super good relationship cards libra so when it comes to your spirituality let's see what's going on there your spirituality and who oh, has a good one too <laughs> you have the um ace of swords you have the ace of swords and the next one is the sun <laughs> and the next one, i can't make this reading up <laughs> honestly <laughs> you have the lovers this is, I've never seen a reading like this in all the years I've done readings. Honestly, I've never seen these kind of cards show up. That's why I love tarot, because you just, you're always surprised, you know, by what you turn over in the cards. And I'm just, like, even on a spiritual level, oh my gosh, it's like, that's what i'm telling you i'm feeling like this person that's coming into your life like they're coming in and they're bringing clarity and it's like and that's why i feel like for some of you guys this person can be somebody you already know and you've already met but then i feel like for others it could be somebody that you're just meeting but then i i believe that because i myself another way of teaching myself the tarot and becoming more acquainted with the cards is, is for me reading for myself and i find that um uh, many times when i've actually reconnected with somebody from the past and we've like really hit things off again this card has shown up as well which is the ace of swords so i kind of feel like it can also be like if you've had challenges with people in the past like it's almost like you you can create a fresh and new um relationship with that person and it's almost like it has this kind of like wiping the slate clean feeling behind it but even if it's a case of you're, you're meeting someone brand new that's why i'm feeling like this person is trying to help you and guide you out of the challenges and the difficulties you've been in because this person is coming through with joy and happiness like he's coming in and this person like this child is on the horse like that knight was on the horse like they're riding in to give you this happy and fresh perspective in your life and almost like coming in to change the way you view life or your outlook on things right now so maybe like if some of you guys have kind of been feeling like all oh, relationships are you know they don't work out for me or they you know you haven't had the best experiences in dating and stuff like that it's like this person is here to restore your hope <laughs> and restore like your positivity like yes this is you can have this you can have this great relationship because the sun is showing that, you know, this is, is shining the light on things with these two cards together. There's a light that's shining and love is what is radiating. And this card, and I'm like, with me, I want people to know this as well. I don't use the word soulmate lightly um, because, again, I think people sometimes get the wrong idea. But. Uh, and also, again, I understand that soulmates can be a, a nice experience, but it can sometimes be very challenging as well. So sometimes even relationships that aren't the best for us are soulmate relationships too. But what I feel, and especially that we have two majors here, is that I think that this person is coming in with a purpose in your life. And that purpose is to, again, restore your faith in love. Restore that part of you that can connect to being vulnerable that can connect to trusting that can connect to being um more open to the prospects of love and i think that's what this person is restoring in you and that's why you're just radiating with this happiness and this joy like i'm seeing in this card and i saw previously in the ace of cups because you you just are open to the whole experience and you're just having fun with it and you're having fun with this individual so i feel like even on a spiritual level that's what this person is here to teach you all those things about love so peace and many blessings to you libra i'll be seeing you bye